All right, I'm just parking the car a little bit away from here because this spot has the service is not good. But if you tuned into this message, um, welcome, and your guys definitely are bringing you here for a reason because the second I woke up today had a <clears throat> revelations up the wazoo those of you who um have been dreaming a lot lately you might be sensing and feeling the same sort of um awakening type of thing happening so um one of the things spirit was telling me about was that <clears throat> a lot of people are going through their shadow work right now um a lot of people are going through their shadow work so if you feel like people are acting funny or they have an attitude with you especially family i'm hearing this is important for the next couple of weeks just be stand clear of people that have an attitude and they they're talking to you funny because they have um they're doing their own shadow work and they're late behind they late in the game with something they're like behind on schedule with some shit and so they're like telling me that spirit's telling me like these people are gonna be like giving you an attitude like they're not gonna like what you're doing um this is listen i'm not here i give good messages all the time but sometimes every once in a while spirit will have me and we see the number 69 there and number 66. Now you know 66 has to do with the family. It's not about the devil, right? Um, so 66 has to do with family and, and connections with family members and stuff. So your guys want you to know that at this present moment, because you're leveling up. And let me tell you, when I say you're leveling up, I'm telling you you're leveling up. Like you're going to the stratosphere, okay? They're staying, see so this is the thing, they're staying at the atmosphere. They're like right here. Like, you know, you got the, what is it? The the atmosphere, the 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 stratosphere, the ionosphere, right? Is that how it goes? Yeah. So you're at the you're at the next level. It's like from 3D to 5D, and you're at the next level. You're like, phew, you're up to the next one. And, and welcome, you guys. And remember, I love you. And if you're coming into my chats, just remember we are a family in here. We've been connecting and getting along for a long time. And if people, you don't like me, you don't like who I am, you want to call people names, just don't come in here. I am a light worker and a channel and a star seed. I do not have any hate for nobody at all. So if you're expecting me to talk about hate, I just don't have it. <laughs> See, I have love in my heart. And I've been done wrong many times in my life, but I've forgiven. And that's why I'm here to show you. If I can forgive, you all can do the same thing. So I, I see Spirit saying something about a house. There's like a legal situation with a, with a family member in a house. I see a grandmother energy here. And she wants to talk. Somebody smoked Newports when they were alive. And they're telling me to light that cigarette up real quick. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to do that. And yes, if you don't know me, I'm a little hood, you know what I'm saying? A little Harvard. <laughs> mm -hmm. Somebody said that there's going to be a situation with the house. I see three kids. Excuse me. Okay. Something about the number nine. I see three kids. Or three or four kids. There's two boys, three girls. I'm seeing this very clearly. There's something about a legal situation with a house. This could be financially and somebody's going to be... <clears throat> This is almost like somebody getting remarried and then the house belonging to that person. That's the situation I'm seeing. I'm not saying that's... Ex I, I hear Gemini. I'm hearing Taurus, Capricorn, Libra. Mm. Um, somebody suffers with severe allergies here. And that's, this could be a message to you like I'm talking to you. Uh, so, uh, I'm hearing Diana, somebody's mother who passed away. I hear John. I hear Jessica and G... And I'm hearing G names and J names. Je Jessica, Gina, John... Jacob, Jim Brown, Miss Mitch, you know what I'm saying? I'm hearing names like that. Seriously. Um, I hear Eric. I hear Tori. Leo. August 17th, September 29th, June 25th, November 14th, July 17th, July 9th, November 19th. I'm hearing the last name. Something son, er, er, son, er, son, er, son, or something like that. Um, I hear Smith and I hear Brown. This is legally. This has to do with something legal, you guys. Um, somebody's dad here was a uh, was a gambler. My daddy was a gambling man. I'm hearing it like that. Somebody's dad was a gambler here. My, I'm Jessica. My parents own a place, and I live and I live in it. And I'm a Gemini. Okay, so I see something with that legal situation with the house. Uh, I just gotta say that I'm hearing he's gonna try to take your daughter. I'm sorry. Listen, uh, if that sounds scary to you, I'm not talking about. They're gonna come steal your daughter from you. I'm not talking about that. Somebody's gonna. They're gonna attempt to do the whole like I guess legal court situation where they're gonna try to like. 
They're gonna try to claim you're a bad mom, but they're not gonna win. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I'm hearing the name Danny. I see a nine-year-old boy and a six-year-old girl. Uh, I hear Aries, I'm hearing Aries. I'm hearing Virgo. Somebody's, uh, you gotta pay attention to your daughter. If she's saying things like, mom, I'm seeing things or I'm hearing things, she's very gifted. You gotta pay attention to what she's saying. Like at nighttime, she tells you like she's, she thinks she's hearing stuff or seeing stuff. Not like, okay, does not to be scared. We're not gonna go, oh my God, what are you hearing? No, we're not gonna do that with our kids. My daughter has told me she's been in school and said, mom, I thought somebody said hi to me in my ear. I said, they did say hi to you in your ear. Next time say hi and keep it moving. Say, excuse me though, I'm, I'm at school right now and I'm busy and she goes, okay. And so at nighttime, if she ever feels uncomfortable, I tell her, what do I tell her? I tell her, create the white light around you. You know, I tell her, your mom's a light worker and so are you. I have a gift and you have a gift. So of course, if you pick up energy and you're empathic and and you go outside and you start feeling nervous maybe your child goes to school and be like mom my stomach hurts i don't feel good if they're trying to stay home a lot from school whoever your child is you got to listen to them man they're not if they're not thriving in school you may want to think about homeschooling like i have it might be better for her for her i'm saying for her but it could be a him too okay i do see a supremely sensitive little boy he's very skinny uh he's got like chocolate skin darker skin very thin kid he's thin you're like worried about him he doesn't eat he doesn't eat like yeah, or he eats and he's just fucking skinny. That's what it is. And you're like worried about this kid. Um, oh, the truth right there. The truth with the phone falling like that. Um, I see that this this child has to... Um, you got to listen to them. You got... Hey, listen. When your kids tell you, Mom, I don't like you here. I'm not comfortable here. Believe them. Believe them. I know that we want... We all are matrix idea And we think everything... I'm not telling you what to do. It's your kids. Don't tell... I'm not telling you what to do. But when my daughter came to me, this is a message. I'm only talking about this is a message. When she came to me, Mom, I don't like school. I'm uncomfortable. I don't like going there. I'm not comfortable. I'm cry She's crying every fucking day. Coming home sad. Like, I... Something had to be done. You know, I had to take action. And... Thank God I did because she's a much happier kid and she's changed her whole fucking attitude overnight because of it. Okay. Um, some of you guys have an ex that is is nagging. You, I'm seeing the number two five five and one one eight here. That could be either a birth. Uh, well, two five five, a birthday one eighteen. That's just what I'm seeing. I'm seeing ten fifteen. I'm seeing six four. Those could be dates here, and I'm seeing ten one five. You could have an ex who's trying to come like this motherfucker. Rears his ugly head. He's got a snake. He's got a snake. Woo, woo. He's got a snake. I got the chills. He's got a snake on him. Like he's a snake, but he's got a snake on him. If that makes sense. Like you know what they say. I like somebody told me the other day in my dream. She goes, all snakes leave trails, and I was like, what? She was like, just when you're, she goes, when you're in the forest, and th this guy that was talking to me in the dream, she said, when you're in the forest and you're all alone, just remember this, all snakes leave trails. She goes, look for the trails and you'll know there's a snake not too far behind. And so what, what they're saying is the people that are around you, okay guys, straight up and down, you're going to level up soon. Like whatever this is, this could be leveling up at work. Like you, your, your coworkers start hating on you. I'm telling you, this could be in your home too, man. This could be somebody you're married to. Oh, Lord, have mercy. You know one of those people, you date them, and you tell them you're doing good, and they're like, oh, they don't like you. He just wants to fuck you. You know that one dude, like, he'll tell every guy that wants to do something for you, they just want to fuck you. I mean, I'm sure that's true because you're beautiful, I'm hearing, but that's not the case here. You have a talent for something, and you're being either promoted or, or brought to the next level. I'm hearing... Uh, I'm hearing cross, cross, crossway, cross, something with the, the oh, I bit my tongue right there. Something with the, with the number 17, I'm hearing that. Mm -hmm. Somebody's going to, something about an engagement, they either ask you, asked you to get married, or they're going to ask you to get married. I'm hearing, can I have your daughter's hand in marriage? Scorpio. I'm hearing something about a Scorpio. Somebody's taking you more seriously than you think. This person really likes you. They're watching over you. They're watching your content. They're, or whatever you're you're creating or whatever you're doing. They're watching. They're watching. They're watching. Um, I see. Uh, I'm hearing with a name like O R A or Aura Orange. Like it sounds like orange, but it's not orange. I don't know what that name is, but I hear a name like that, like or. Orion, Orion? I don't know. It's a name like that. <laughs> um, 
somebody got left at the altar or you, you I'm getting a heart sh chakra a pain here some someone who passed from a heart attack is definitely going to be talking to you soon they're going to be coming through to you in your dreams if they haven't already there's this person has been trying to communicate they're trying to con make contact with you is what I'm hearing some of you could be feeling something at night you know bumps in the night you could be feeling or hearing like a, a noise and you're just like what the fuck is that and it's like it could be somebody who um is trying to communicate with you but you're you you're oh i just got pain in my right side of my jaw hopefully not i'm seeing abuse here i i don't want i don't want to say nothing but there's a lot of people in this chat and a lot of things are going to come through so whatever is coming through i'm sorry but this is what's coming through i see i see somebody who was in an abusive relationship i mean i finally got out bitch i finally got out and it was not easy oh this is sick this is sick somebody's family supported him abusing you oh my god You'll all know how I feel about abusive men. You'll know. Because you know that bitch on fucking ox oxygens, fucking I killed my husband. That would be me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm getting like, I, I can't. I, I, I don't know what's, why this is coming through, but, but something about somebody getting choked up or you, you, you were in a relationship with somebody like grabbed you by the neck and pushed you back. You don't have to share anything in the comments, but if it's. If spirits directing this message to you is because they want you to understand so that they could be, there could be some shit here that's going to be changing for you a lot. And you, you're you scared. You're scared that like this next person is going to do the same thing to you. And I promise you they're not. And I see like in October, I'm here. You're going to meet a gentleman. This person is going to be so different from anybody you ever met. You know how you've had like sex with people? I see you making love to someone. It's like, um, some of you got TMJ like a motherfucker. Like you're the TMJ here, 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 here. I'm getting a headache here and here and here. And I don't have specifically TMJ, but spirits leading me to the jawline area. But you need to do the exercises or something and tighten your jaw up because for some of you, when you talk, it's you're biting your tongue. I'm hearing right here. It just gives. They keep showing me this. They're like talk about the right side, biting the tongue. Something with the biting the tongue on the right side. Okay. Okay, uh, I see a tall man, and I, I, I am here in Leo, okay? This man was, this is your father. I'm seeing a tall man. He shows me him in, like, 1973, too. I'm here in 1979, specifically, and he shows me him standing, like, really handsome in the corner. He has, like, a square-shaped haircut, and I see, like, brown eyes and... He says big teeth. I'm hearing big teeth. Okay, this is what I'm hearing. And I see lanky, pretty lanky. I see a skinnier man. Like he's, a, but he's muscular. He's muscular. Is how I'm gonna say. Okay. Um, I'm hearing Jordan. I, I'm hearing. I keep hearing something about the a lioness or a lions. Somebody, somebody here. Something about the lioness. Like you see yourself as the lioness or something like that. Like you, you commun. You know how people like say I'm a cougar. You know my 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 uh the, my spirit animal is a cougar. My spirit animal is a bear. You're like the lioness. I'm hearing. Um, some of you guys have a oh, you're gonna be getting visitations from your spirit guides, and they're not from this planet. I'm hearing that very strongly. <gasps> some of you could be extremely tired right now, and I'm seeing that you're you're not. Here's the weird thing: that like you're, you're tired, but you have so much energy. It's so fucking weird. It, I've been experiencing this a little bit. Oh, whoever you are, your shoulders. Mm. You gotta, you gotta. I need you to put your hands on the door I'm hearing and stretch your shoulders. You got really tense shoulders, you guys. You Maybe you're sitting at work all day. I'm seeing somebody over a computer in a desk sitting. It's a lot of shoulder pain here. Um, Flo, is it possible to be channeling some of the same things you're saying as well? Yes. Are you talking about me? I just said spirit animal is my cheetah. <laughs> well, what do you think? If I just, you just said that, what do you think it is? This is how spirit works. You'll think of something and they'll, they'll have me mention it right there and then, or even later on. Um, I'm hearing something about next June. You're going to be getting that, that, that house you want, the house you, you're worried about a business. You guys, you're worried at like, if you're going to, if I, if I start this business, I see somebody wanting to put a small amount of money towards a business. This is like a thousand dollars. That seems like a small amount to a lot of people, but it's not. It's a, it's actually a, a, a nice amount. Something about I see myself as a lioness. My shoulder hurt for two days straight. 
oh, let's clear that. That's like tired. Like there's like a draining. And okay, some of you gotta clear this motherfucking frog uh, wall. Why did I just say frog? Ill. Some of you gotta clear this fucking. Um. You gotta clear this shit out. Whatever the fuck this guy. This guy. That's a boom. Clear it. Let's clear it. Let's clear it. Let's clear it. It's like an entity that wants to. All right, I'm gonna say this. Please don't freak out, okay? It's not about. Oh my God, what is she saying? I said, I'm not, it's not about that. It's uh, there's some kind of energy. Yes, yeah, the business. What I'm saying about the business is, some you want to take a small, really quick, because when I'm channeling, sometimes spirit will have me go bounce back and forth. But real quick, let's get back to that business messages that it's gonna work out for you. If you're worried, it's, if you're worried, it's not gonna work out for you. The answer is yes, it's gonna work out for you. Oh yeah. Oh, some of you gotta get this ends and and. and I hate to say it like this, but there could be somebody you're dating. Honestly, I swear to God, and this person could be draining your aura. It could be like every time you're home, they come in the house and all of a sudden you start getting tired and very frustrated, okay? Like, you know that that feeling of like, you're home, you're relaxing, la la la. Then this person gets home and all of a sudden you're like, fuck do I feel like this like and it could be again it could be a, a husband a boyfriend it could be family whatever it is you're not you're not happy with it was my point is you're not happy with it like they make you feel very dream okay good morning well uh, clear 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 turn to sender turn to sender um another thing you see that that yawning stuff like that I take that okay okay M one more thing spirit wants to talk about this you are going through a spirit massive awakening. Some of you guys, if you're feeling sick or hot or fever or something like this, and you're and that person is taking my energies, I think you may have some pattern to take all those. Again, another thing, one thing you guys don't learn about me about what I feel about spell work. I do believe that people sit there and do hibbity bobbity booze on people. But the way I look at it is I'm protected from all that because I constantly think that I'm protected. I don't I'm not I don't dabble in that world, so therefore that world can't affect me. If you're dabbling in that that world of like uh, you know, spells and and the dark arts and stuff like that, and you you're expecting not to ever get it back, then you're you know, it's like whatever magic you do on others, you're doing it on yourself. That's the that's the real if you really want to talk about it, whatever magic you're doing on others, you're doing it on yourself. So be careful what you put out there because it comes back to you. You know, all magic must be paid back in return. At whether it's good or bad magic, you have to, you have to take that from someone and then give it to someone else. So be very careful as dabbling into all that a uh, uh, bullshit unless you know what the fuck you're doing. And, and even those who think they know what they're doing don't know what they're doing. Everybody's a witch and a wizard until a witch and a wizard walks in the room. You know what I'm saying? So I'll be real careful about how we pr proceed with that whole bullshit. And if people want to say, I put a spell on you and now you're mine. It's like, okay, hocus pocus, bitch, get the fuck out of here. I don't believe in all that shit. So at the end of the day, nobody who does voodoo or any of this stuff can affect me because guess what? I don't believe in that stuff. <laughs> Sorry. I don't believe in it for me. I believe that we are telepathic. We are psychic. We are phenomenal healers and all that stuff. But when it comes to all that magic and like, I don't believe in it. I, I believe that you could put, I, this is my belief. I'm not saying what they believe is not real. What I'm saying is I will, uh, you know, light a candle, burn some herbs, but it's not to like put a phone on nobody. It's like to bring positive energy into my life. That's it. And to help somebody heal with something, but I'm not taking nothing from nobody else and giving it to that person. I believe it comes from a source of love and light. And that's it. I just see, see things differently, which is why I don't get affected by much today. I used to get affected by much because I used to believe everybody put a spell on me and I'm fucked up because they put a spell on me and all that. When I went through my dark, dark night of the soul, my spiritual awakening, however you want to name it when i went through hell basically when i walked through the fires of the hell to come out as the unburned light worker you know what i'm saying but i had to walk through the fires of hell in order to get to where i am today and it wasn't easy and a lot of you are walking through that path right now and you might be seeing yourself go through that and you're going what the fuck is going on man why am i going through this right now and many of you are in a place of light you're in a place of good good standing but you're also going through a major spiritual awakening I'm hearing space renewal. So some of you guys, your galactic family members are helping to guide you along your mission and your path. You're working with your guides on several different, I'm hearing entities. You're, you're really telling your guides like, I'm, you know, I want to do this. I want to do that. But it's like, I don't know exactly how to do it. I don't know where to start. I don't know where to begin. Please don't judge me. I don't know what to do. And your guys are like, we're taking you there. I'm hearing, I'll take you there. Ain't nobody crying. I'll take you there. And I'm hearing, every little thing is going to be all right. Somebody's dad loved 
Bob Marley. Like, that was his jam, you know what I'm saying? So there's like a... <clears throat> I feel like some of you are going to be upgrading your life here. And I'm telling you here, and if you tapped into this message, be careful because there's people like trying to scratch at you right now. They really want to like... They, they want to get to you. And it's like, bitch, no. You know how hard I work to get here? You got to let them know. I work... Listen, when these people... Listen to the, these last words that Spirit's going to leave me with because I got a lot of shit to do today. Look, I got my dog a car seat. <laughs> I'm so Courtney. <laughs> and a fucking car, a, a dog stroller. Anyway, I'm a whole herb. <laughs> but, um, you know, to, uh, I got a lot of stuff to do today. But I want to... And a woo, Spirit just like came in and was like... Da, 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 da. And then they were like... Phew. They fall back. And that's when I stopped channeling when I see Spirit goes, all right, we gave the most important things. And then when I... When, clear, clear. When it gets overwhelming, my guys will just be like, all right, enough right now. That's it, that's it, that's it. Like, okay, imagine yourself like this. Some of you have this gift. That's why uh, if you're wondering how, how do I do that? How do I do that flow? My spirit guides will bring a team of spirit that's been dying to talk, say, dying to say stuff. Just want to just say everything and their mother to me. And they'll take them all around in a circle and they'll be like, all right, everybody with a legal issue, walk in front. All right, everybody wants to talk to their kid about this, walk in front. Everybody wants to see this, walk in front. So they all do. And they'll take teams of spirit. And they'll give me the message for all those, that line of people there, that line of people there, that line of people there. So that all the messages can come, you know, directly to you from a group of people. You see what I'm saying? Instead of one at a time. Because if so, I'd be sitting here for like fucking a year. You know what I mean? Just trying to get you guys messages. And that that's not easy to do. And I, it doesn't work out. That doesn't work out for me. So I have to... Um, I learned how to work with my guys on that manner. So maybe there's a there's a message for you to learn how to... What the fuck is that? <laughs> the fuck is that? So maybe there's a message for you to learn how to work with your guides in that matter. Because you might have that... this, Not might. You have this gift. So if you maybe you're asking, how the fuck do I do this? How do I know I'm a medium. I know I'm psychic. I know I'm a channel. I know I could do this. I know I can help people, heal people. How? You got to come up with a, a plan with your, with your spirit guides. See, yes, you got spirit guides that are guiding you. And then you got... Um, spirit guides who purposely misguide you just so that you can find your way home, right? Sort of thing. So when you want to do stuff like this, you got to work with your guides and ask them, like, how do I, like, how do we do this? And then your guides will say, well, what, what, what system works for you? And so maybe you could take your guides together and you could be like, okay, so if I'm on a channel, what I would like is for not to get overwhelming and for blah, blah, blah. And then come up with your own system, your own plan. I'm getting hit in the crown chakra here. A lot of activation. Okay. Some of you are activating. You beep, slow down. You're, you're activating heavily right now. So what's happening is that you're going to um, be feeling some symptoms, okay? I know I just went through another spiritual awakening, like another from like, beep, beep, it's a level up, right? So sometimes when I level up, it'll be like fever, hot, chills, cold sweats, not being able to sleep at night, getting energy, but being tired. That happens a lot too. Um, drained, uh, dragging my feet and stuff like that. And then there's the... It almost feels like bipolar disorder. I can't. I'm not gonna hold you. It really does. It's like a bi bi bipolar disorder feeling, but it's not. It's not that because trust me, I've been bipolar. <laughs> I've been them all, and I know that's not what it is. It's really because um, I'm ascending, and when you're ascending, ascension symptoms can look like, feel like, sound like depression, anxiety, <clears throat> bipolar disorder. It can look and feel like all of those mental illnesses that people think are they're crazy but really they're not sick they're just gifted they just don't know they're gifted and they just have to figure out that they're gifted and once they do they won't be sick anymore all right so i love you guys and um look back at this message if you just tuned in there's some extra messages in there um today is a day to just rest relax and retreat i'm hearing that very strongly if you can take the time to so, something with the left leg guys i'm getting pain a sharp pain down my left leg it looks like it feels like it's coming from like my inner thigh on the top of my left side so maybe some of you gotta do a liver cleanse detox your liver here because there's a yeah you need to do like a liver cleanse here okay and then um some of you even want to do a gut cleanse because your stomach's been hurting you lately i mean you know uh gratefully especially right now eat light um be the light and and walk light okay because it's gonna be i love you guys um there's gonna be a lot you know like i don't know overnight sometimes guys it happens you go from like 
what am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Nobody cares. I'm so stupid. I suck. And then overnight, you're like, what the fuck? Like, and this is how it goes down. This is how the world goes, man. One day you're fucking, you know, uh, you're riding high in June. Then you're shot down in May. That's life. That's what all the people say. You know what I mean? Matter of fact, I'm going to listen to my Frank Sinatra right now and drive to my location. My fucking back is killing me. Who else? Oh, this weather. Yo, this weather. It don't like you know what's crazy? I'm gonna tell you another another thing I've been sensing with this weather. It's it's that kind of air where it's like you wake up and you're like, oh, everything hurts. Oh India, hello. Um it's that not me doing the accent. <laughs> I'm gonna say India, hello, because I I like to do accents and people are like, You're making fun of I'm like, no. I just do accents very well, darling. <laughs> Don't fuck with me, <laughs> right? Right, <laughs> asshole. <laughs> you know, that's why I can channel easily because I can, I can be spirit. Like they, I can, a, a lady from the 1800s can walk in right now. She could be a wench or she can be a maiden. What, what, what would you like her to be? And you know, that's why I connect with spirit because I've been all these people in many lifetimes. I've been all of them. I've literally, I've seen myself be these people. Every dream I have went through my Akashic records and I have been every one of them. They just found the gallbladder stones while pregnant. It's so painful. Oh no. What? What are you sending to his dad? I'm so sorry, Christy. Um, you're going to have to put your hands over your stomach and do what I taught you. Do what I taught you, Christy. Put your hands. I do need a massage. Yo, I was listening to the exact same song, Frank Sinatra. I fucking love you. <laughs> You know how we do. You know how this. this. <coughs> oh, that got too excited. You know how the spirit guys do. Look at, look at, look at, look at this jackass. Look how fast he's driving. Just look. I want you to see. You see that shit? At a fucking 15 mile per hour zone. I just want you to see. I just want you to see. You know what I'm saying? I just want to show y'all motherfuckers what these motherfuckers me doing. <laughs> Goddamn motherfuckers. God damn motherfuckers. They be driving fast, not me being a Karen. I'm like, slow down. <laughs> like, I'm like, I'll stand outside and I'll be walking down the neighborhood. Dee -ba -dee -ba -dee, and the car's driving fast. And I'm like, slow down. <laughs> a whole Karen. <laughs> Looking for your purpose and you will find it. Our purpose doesn't come to some of us so late in the game. Oh, I'm getting hit in the head so hard right there. Guys, look. Shut the front face. Why does this always happen? Why do I always have to stop here? Like, I didn't even realize I'm doing it. 333. Three, three. Look at that. And if those of you who don't know, you're like, what's 333? Three, three, three? Why is she throwing 333? Three, three? By the way, I when I got my new car, <clears throat> in the middle of my license plate, the number's 333 three, three, three are there. Mark my words. I just You're not supposed to show people your license plate. I think they can, like, find you or something. I don't know. Not like, <laughs> it's hard for people to find each other today anyway. If somebody wants to stalk me, just do me a favor. Bring me some fucking, I don't know wine and some good weed and stand outside my house and just pass me some of that shit every once in a while i'll come out and i'll flash the city Ew. but you know what i'm saying but i'm saying um i'm saying the fact that i stopped at the 333 is right there well three when you start seeing 333 it means you're ready to work for god okay so there's 33 vertebrae in the human spine there's 33 bloodlines on earth there's the Jesus died at number 33. Um, the number three is connected to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, time, space, and consciousness. Um, you know, uh, it's the Holy Trinity, right? Is the number is three, is number three. Nikola Tesla's 369. When you break three up into six into nine, that is the frequency. It is the frequency to the universe. It's the it's the main key to the universe because that's the Father, Son, Son, and time and space. Uh, the 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 Holy the Holy Trinity. Okay, I'm gonna name my little, my baby Lil Three. <laughs> I fucking hate you, bitch. <laughs> I can't stand you. Lil 333, come to mommy. <laughs> hey, yo, Lil 333, come to mommy. Or get over here and get me some dummy. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know what that was. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm corny. <laughs> okay, guys, I love you. I'm going to go be a cornball by myself and laugh at my own jokes in the car like I always do every day because I'm a whole herb. But I love you guys, and I'll see you guys later. You're welcome, all right? My phone's getting hot again. I'm going to punch fucking Apple in the face. I swear to God, let me tell you something. Things I fucking noticed, things like your phone getting hot all of a sudden when the iPhone 5 is coming out. Like, bitch, I'm, I'm, 
I'm just saying, let's just rally up and go to Apple and just start smacking the fucking geniuses in there. Oh, you're a genius? Smack, <laughs> smack, smack. You know what I'm saying? Let's, let's just go. Beat up some Apple and fucking work. Flo from Beggar's Club leads a band of bandits and they walk into the Apple store and start beating all the geniuses up. You know, something like that. I have spiritual gifts, but they're closed now. I'm afraid they'll never react to me. Hold on, hold on. Let me give you a little testy test. I've done this before with many people, but let's go. Hi, Zen. Uh, okay, we're going to do the test, okay? The are you psychic test. Look at your hand, ready? Let's do this. Hurry up, I got shit to do. Go like this to your hand, okay? And I want you to look right here in the middle of your hand. In between these two things, look right here in the middle. Do you see an X? Do you see an X? Like, right? You see how you see my X right there in the middle? You see that clear X, right? Does, do you guys see that? Do you guys see that? I'll stick to my Android. You should. You see that X, right? Okay, look in between those two lines and that big X. Do you have that X? Do you have that X? If you have that X, let me know. Raise your hand if you have that X. You see three X's? I have like a hundred of them, but that one's the most prominent one. On my left hand, forget about it. It's all over the place. Yep, you have it. Yep, mine's huge. Okay, cool. Great. So I don't know if you guys have ever seen this before but i'm gonna say it again because those people that watch later they're like oh shit thank you for telling me okay so if you have that am i tall or is these car okay um you have that x okay now i want you to do me another favor that means you're highly psychic if you have that x you are a psychic okay like you're, you're welcome congratulations why is this seatbelt up my dick right now all right hold on if, i gotta get one of those phone holder thingies so i don't have to hold my phone all day look like what the, i'm only five six chill boy okay so you have that that means you're psychic okay number one i'm just gonna let you know right now extremely psychic now i want you to look at another thing okay right under this finger the ring finger go down to here under this finger go down to here do you see a tp looking thing a, a triangle and is it closed it should look like, you see how that right there is like that? It's a little triangle. I have one. And it used to be very closed and now it's not anymore. But it's like a little teepee right here. Do you have a triangle there? Right here. And on top of this line right here, under the ring finger, do you have a triangle looking thing right there? Is it closed? Is the triangle closed or is it open? If it's open... If it's open, you're unafraid to use your gifts in this lifetime. You're going to be doing big things with them, and you're already using them now. You're already using them now. If it's closed, if it's closed, it means in a past life, you've been killed for doing psychic um, things, healer stuff, you know, burned alive at the stake type shit, Salem witch hunt type shit. If, if it's closed, and that's keeping you scared of doing, using your gifts in this lifetime because in a past life you were killed for it for your gifts for your abilities so now in this lifetime you have you have to learn to get past that fear which i had to do the first time i ever did a reading on youtube i got smacked in the hand by spirit and my whole hand had like a red spot on it and it was burning i was like oh god and they were like bitch is gonna discover her powers and instead of me getting scared and running the opposite way and then even when I saw some shit and heard some shit and then so-called demons came to like fuck with me, I didn't I didn't quit. I didn't give up. I kept going. I kept going. So if you keep going and you don't you don't show no fear, your guys will work with you more and more. It's up to you how much fear you show is when they stop working with you. Your guys are not going to push you past your your extent. So if you're feeling like, bro, this is too scary. I don't like it. It's too much. It's overwhelming. They wouldn't pa push you past the extent, okay? Right now, I could see that, you know, more viewers are coming in. And that one video got 154,000 likes on Instagram. Like, almost 400,000 views on TikTok. I've never gotten that before. But my guides have told me this. They've already been... Your guides are telling you everything that's going to happen. Just pay attention. They told me a while ago, this is going to happen. That's going to happen. That's gonna, and it's going to keep happening. Don't stop. Keep going because we got a mission for you. You're on a mission. And you have to believe wholeheartedly. Slow the fuck down, asshole. You have to believe wholeheartedly, wholeheartedly that there's mad kids, babies. So I live in like a, a Hasidic Jewish community. And little tiny, when I say they leave their babies, bitch, I see some infants walking around. They don't give a fuck. They just be like, like I don't know. We would, I, I'm just saying, Ameri I don't think any American people would be doing that. Leaving their babies all the way outside, like not even one years old with, with their three-year-olds. Like the three-year-olds are babysitting the one-year-olds. 
And you can't be driving like that because those. And he's he's a Jewish school bus driver. Those are your own people. You're gonna fucking run over. What the fuck is wrong with you? Like I'm thinking about your people, and you're not thinking about your people. The fuck is going on in the world? Yeah, I like you. Be, I'm not a like when you say Karen. Like I'm just gonna tell you when I see that. I, Listen, like I said, this is their children. This is their own Hasidic Jewish children, and they're they're speeding down the street. Like, hello, I'm I'm I don't I know no American kids, no Albanian kids are running around here. But I'm still careful as to me driving because, God forbid, I fucking hit a kid and he goes flying with his yarmulke. I'll fucking be crying. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But look, another. Another fucking 330 right there. I mean, come on, you know? All right, guys. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys later. But listen to me. So your, your psychic abilities, I, you know when you get a new car, you just want to keep it spotless. Now, look what I did here. Look what I, I'm such a slob. Look what I did. Look what the fuck I did. Look. Ah, no, I showed my whole ID. Oh, God. Oh, God. All right, all right. You can't trust people out here. You know, I'm a fucking, I'm a fucking conspiracy theorist. I don't trust nobody on the internet. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right, guys. I love you, and I'll see you. I love you. I love you. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Doesn't matter what hand it's on. No, it doesn't matter what hand it's on because some of us um, use our left hand more than we use our right hand. But I know that in our family, the women are very psychic and gifted, and that's what it is with you. So pay attention to that. Your spirit guys want you to understand that you're very psychic. You're very gifted. So my nose is so stuffy today. And you're very psychic and very gifted. That's love crumbs. That's cigarette crumbs. That's what that is. That's cigarette crumbs. I really got to quit these cigarettes. All right, y'all. I love y'all. Thank you for the badge. I appreciate it, guys. We're doing the subscription thing. Uh, where I want to have guests come on and like a talk show. You know what I'm saying? So if you guys are here for that. That would be great. I want to do like, you know, like, like flow the Oprah, like an Oprah, like a spiritual Oprah. Go ahead and try to steal my idea, bitch. See if I don't make a whole video showing everybody. She stole my idea. I don't care. I am petty. I am petty. I will make a three hour video talking about how that was my idea. I don't care. I don't care. I got, I literally have nothing better to do. <laughs> Just, I'll be here like my idea i'll go around the little blogs she stole my idea they stole my idea they'd be like flo give it up i'm like never <laughs> i'm like Xerxes and fucking game of thrones that bitch is fucking evil <laughs> yeah okay guys flopra flopra <laughs> lisa said flopra i love that te quiero mucho y yo te quiero mucho Okay? Okay, guys. Like, let me go, okay? Let me go to the place to the fix the thingy. <laughs> to the place to the fix the thingy. i see you later. I like hanging out with you guys because I'm a loser. Because <laughs> I'm a loser, baby. So why don't you get me? No, but seriously. I'll see y'all later. Please rewatch this. And uh, remember, even though I'm in a channel in the beginning, it's always going to get weird, awkward, and corny at the end. So if you're down for that, stick around. <laughs> I'll see you later. Bye, guys. Bye.